What's up sports fans, you're Inside the Edge, and I'm back with another video to give you guys some information regarding the NBA season resuming, and there are two locations regarding where the NBA season will participate in. So I'm seeing Las Vegas being a specific area, and I'm seeing Disney World Resort being a second location for the NBA to resume. But before I start this video, I wanna give a shout out to all those that are on the front line, all the medical doctors, all the medical researchers, you know, working class people that's putting their time and energy to those to fight this COVID-19 and this pandemic that's, um, you know, shooken up this whole entire country and, you know, we're trying to get back to everything, but I just want to give a shout out to those that's really putting themselves on the front line and really making a difference and, you know, all the higher up people that's donating tons of money to hospitals, you know, I want to give a shout out to all those. We appreciate those that's making an impact and really doing um, a lot for um, you know their community locally you know those that's just making a difference so I want to give a shout out to you guys but with that being said you know there's a lot of um, news regarding where will the NBA take place now I'm seeing that Bob Iger the executive chairman of Disney has spoken to Adam Silver regarding you know um, what is the area for the NBA to start its season or finish its season rather and um, it's looking like the facility at Disney World Resort can be a possibility of where players can play and it makes sense to me you know looking at it um, you know looking at that area I've been to Disney World when I was a kid and um, you can easily get lost in there man you can probably you know put a blindfold on spin around five times and you will get lost you know um, I mean, I'm sure a lot of you guys have stories of being at Disney World and you got lost I mean it's a big facility and I definitely think it's enough room for, you know enough hotel rooms for every player um, every coach every official every televised crew member you know I think it's it's enough to um, you know take care of everyone that's there and um, there's uh, medical facilities in that area of, at that resort so I mean I think it's a good spot for NBA players to to resume the NBA just because of how much space it is and I think it's a it's not a high risk of players um, catching the virus just because of how big the facility is if players really you know stay safe um, stay tucked in um, I think that this can be a good outcome for players and a safe outcome for players to be able to resume the NBA season like I said um, you know I, I believe the NBA is trying to get two locations one in the Eastern Conference and one in the Western Conference um, Adam Silver is still trying to figure out an area where the Western teams can play at and um, I'm here in Vegas you know I'm hearing a lot of Vegas um, you know, as of right now, we just have to wait and see um, what do the commissioner come up with and what is the structure of this um, NBA season is going to look like. You know, are we going to get a couple regular seasons or are we going to go straight to the postseason? It's a lot of question marks, but as of right now, of what I've seen reports, it's looking like the facility, um, you know, Disney World Facility Resort is looking like a possibility. And I believe that resort for Florida, I believe that resort opened up a couple of days ago. So it was looking like a green light. You know, now it's the matter of um, how can we operate this where we can, we, we can get the players and, you know, everything that goes within the NBA. You know, obviously the broadcasters, the directors, those that record games, um, the announcers, everything that makes the NBA the NBA. How can we get this structure into these this facility where we can have, um, you know, scheduled games and everyone can meet at the same location at the same time. So it's a lot that goes into this, but it looks like the NBA is stepping in the right direction. And this, to me, is looking like a, a good facility because of the amount of space there is. And, you know, it's, you know, Florida, the resort, it's, again, top-notch hotels, you know, good food, good restaurants. And I'm sure a lot of players will really enjoy um, doing this type of um, procedure as far as playing in that area, you know, because of, you know, the weather. And I'm sure a lot of players are going to enjoy it. But, you know, I'm just giving you guys a quick update um, regarding uh, where will the NBA season um, take place. But it's looking like a possibility. It looks like Florida can be a possibility. I think it's a good idea just because of how big the facility is and how much space there is. And I think, you know, it being a, a private owned and, um, area is closed off from the public. So that's another plus of why I think it's more safer than other, um, other any other place that they want to um, resume this NBA season so this is just a quick video for you guys just to give you guys some information 
Um, some people think it's a hoax or something, but no, the NBA is really moving forward with this idea of possibly it being in the Disney World Resort. So um, <laughs> it's kind of a funny thing, but it's looking like a possibility, man. And I hope it, you know, I hope it, it goes through. I hope, um, you know, Adam Silver can do his due diligence and make sure everything is processed right. And hopefully we can get a postseason at some point. And um, you guys can tell me your, you know, you guys' picks on who do you think uh, will win the NBA championship if the NBA continues to finish out and play out this season. You know, do you think it's the Clippers, the Rockets, the Lakers, the Bucks? You know, you guys give me your opinion on who you think will be crowned champion if the NBA if the NBA resumes. So, you know, this is a quick video for you guys to give you guys some information. And, and if this video was helpful, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys on my next video. Be safe and have a good day. Peace.